In this video, what we're going to learn how to do is take one chunk in Agisoft Metashape and align it to another chunk by using alignment points. Right. So what we see here is the insula at Pompeii. Uh, this is what is, is designated as the F area where, where they're doing excavation. And we already have shot in um, one base model right, that's for this area that has alignment points that are already designated. Uh, and I've tied in that base model, F underscore zero, to our larger base model of the insula by using landmark points that I identified in the imagery. Right. So let's go ahead and turn on those landmark points. Um, I have four of them there that we're able to actually get our um, base model tied into our larger insula model. So let's take a look at the F underscore zero model here. Right. And now we have this model, which has a lot of targets distributed around on the walls, which will then allow for these other chunks that come afterwards to be referenced to it. So we call these alignment points. And there's these little targets that go on nails that have a, a code on them that articulate a specific number when, when detected in Agisoft Metashape. And that's just up here, tools, markers, detect markers. Right. So the way we do this is we first have to bring in the model that we're going to align. We go to a file. Append, All right, that's the third one down there under file, and then we're going to search for the one we're going to align. I'm going to bring in F7, right, hit open, and it'll just come in as chunk one, hit OK. And this shouldn't take too long, but you'll, you'll want to make sure that you rename the chunk so that it works for your project. So I'm repeating F7. I have already, I already did this one uh, previously, but we'll do this for the demo here. Okay. So first things first, rename. I'll call it F underscore seven demo. Okay. And as you can see, some of these chunks are actually with a little red mark. That means they're disabled and some of them are not. Uh, we want to disable everything that we're not working with. So this one here, which is the insula, I'm going to, I can right click and disable. We can click the button up here. And then this one will keep enabled because we're going to work with it. And same with the F underscore zero that's up here, which is my uh, referenced model. And because those two are the only ones highlighted, uh, what I can actually do is go to workflow, align chunks, and they will be the only two with check marks here in this list. And they'll be the ones that I actually align. Now it's important to make sure that the one you're aligning to is bold, right? That means active. So the active chunk has to be the one that you're aligning to. So the one that I'm going to bring to it is F7. So the way to do that is just double clicking and you can activate chunks. Um, or you can right click and hit act, you know, put activate in there. So you can actually hit set active, but it's already bolded here. But as you saw there, there was a huge shift where one model just shifted over. This is the model that's unreferenced, but it does have my alignment points here. And that's key because these targets will match to targets that I already had set in the scene in F0. So let's go ahead and double click F0. So that's the active chunk. I can hit seven, get my north arrow up, or north is up on the page, um, and let's do it. Workflow, align chunks, it's the only two that are checked off. We're gonna run a marker-based alignment with the special markers that are on the wall, and hit okay. Now in theory, all of those targets with the exact same name have aligned to one another, and I should be able to click show align chunks, and it will pop up. And sure enough, down here where the, the actual model is, it has aligned itself with our surface model. And you can see kind of the grass surface here. So let's double click F7. That'll make it active. Uh, it won't have changed anything here because we're not even moving around in space anymore. Uh, but if we were to zoom in and then unclick show align chunks, you'll see that it's it's been put exactly where it needs to go.